In this video, I will show you how to create a, a separate class to manage the, sh the shared preferences in Flutter. Well, what you need to do is first create a package and then name the class shared preferences or data like the one I have right here. And then you need to import shared preferences in the in the file but before doing that you need to go to popspec.yaml and add the dependency for shared preferences like the one I have here then you create in my uh, in my case what I'm doing is I'm creating a, an empty list to add the values to the list for for a, a form that's the best way I think and it will allow you to add as many uh, valuables as you need you so you, you what you do is you create an empty list then you you make a setter and a getter but to do this you need to you write future list string which is the variable type and then you write the variable, the function name and you write async because it's a future variable and then you write shared preferences prefs equals await shared preferences dot get instance then you return prefs dot get string list and then you write the name of the of the shared preference the one the name for the shared preference variable and that's for the setter I mean for the getter and for the setter you write uh, set the the name of the um, of the function. Then you write the um, uh, the you write parentheses, and then you write the the parameter. In in this case, it's a list. Then you write value, or or the name of the variable you want to give it. Then you write async. And then you say underscore depto, which is the local variable I have, equals value. I'm assigning the value I pass to, to a function to the, to, the, to the list I have right here, which is the empty list. Then I say shared preferences prefs equals await shared preferences dot get instance. And then I write prefs dot set string list. I, I give it the same name as the variable I, I wrote in the getter and then I write a comma and then the name of the empty variable I, I assign I create it at the top which is the same one I'm using in the, in the setter and that's it now you just need to call the functions for the setter and the getter and then you just send the variables and and write uh, to share preferences thanks thanks for watching if you like this video please subscribe to my channel thanks